Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade and if you are brand new then you are most definitely welcome and if you're returning back to my channel then thank you so much for coming back here to watch another video here on my channel. Whew. So today, um, again another perfume review um, but this one was actually requested by one of my lovely subscribers who really wanted to know what this perfume smelt like. Um, I actually bought this perfume a little while ago so um, I've kind of been in two minds to review it but seeing as a few people have actually asked about it I just thought you know what I'm just going to to do this review. Um, yeah so I really couldn't find the notes for it but anyway we'll get to that in a minute but first of all the, the perfume that I'm going to be reviewing it's called Badi Al Oud, Oud for Glory by the House of Latafa. And before I start, obviously, with my review, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the family. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss another video from me. So, back to the perfume. Badi Al Oud, Oud for Glory um, by the House of Latafa. And you know on this channel that I love Latafa, okay? Um, generally, I'm going to read you out some of the notes for this perfume. Um, I couldn't find the main accords because Fragrantica said no. Um, and then after that, I will let you know what I think about this fragrance, okay? So, Badi Al Oud or Oud for Glory, um, is basically I found out after buying was meant to be a clone for Oud for Greatness by Ignitio and I actually have not smelt that so I was literally going off the um, the reviews for this particular one by Latafa as you know I love Latafa brand and I'm always you know out here looking for like brand new ones that I know that I'm going to enjoy and um, this one had a lot of like raving reviews admittedly from more men than women and um, I didn't really see many reviews by women for this fragrance at the time I think when I actually bought this it was quite difficult to get hold of and quite a lot of people were saying that they couldn't get hold of it thankfully I was able to get it um, I got this on Amazon but um yeah so Let's move on to the notes. Let me get the notes and then I'll then tell you what I actually think about this fragrance. So the notes here that I've got are woody notes, oud, labdanum, amber, patchouli, um, smoke notes and caramel. So when watching these videos, a lot of people said that it smelled, you know, sweet, caramelly. Um, some people said it had like benzoin in it. Some people said that it was a mix between Baccarat Rouge and Oud for Greatness. Um, some people said it was like light and airy. There were just so many like mixed reviews. So like I didn't quite know how to pinpoint what this fragrance was actually going to smell like. But like obviously when you throw Baccarat Rouge 540 in there, I'm going to be like, oh, okay. Because that's literally one of my favourite scents. And um Obviously, Oud for Greatness, I don't really know that much about because I've never smelt I still have never smelt it before. Obviously, lockdown and everything and haven't really had the chance to smell it. But, um, yeah, I decided to take a chance on it and I bought it. <sighs> okay, guys. <laughs> this is probably like one of the very few fragrances I will say that I do not like. I don't like it i don't like it like as in if i could <sighs> i feel so bad saying this but if i could give it away i really would but i don't believe in giving people things that i really wouldn't even wear myself so in a way i'm kind of like slightly stuck but if there is anybody out there who loves this fragrance and would actually really like it then i've literally only sprayed it like twice and can literally give it to you at a very very discounted price because i just want to get rid of it <laughs> sounds really bad but um yeah so let's just uh, i don't want to smell it but i know i'm gonna have to okay no i don't like it i don't like it it smells like hospital 
it smells like medicine i can't smell anything that nice in here the only time i was able to really wear this fragrance is when i mixed it with oud mood by latafa and we all know oud mood makes everything better but literally this is the only time i can wear this fragrance and if i end up having to keep it then i know that i have to mix these two together in order for me to be able to wear it but um honestly this scent by itself smells nothing like Baccarat Rouge. Yeah, you may be able to get slight sweetness in there, but it literally smells like sweet medicine. Like, it actually upsets me, because even, like, smelling it now, it gives me PTSD for, like, going into hospital when I was younger. That's how, like, bad it is. It smells to me like an oxygen mask. It smells like a theatre on an operation table. That's literally what this just flashes me back to and I hate to say it because obviously like I love majority of the fragrance that I've blind bought but this one mm -mm. it literally stays in that little like you know what's it drawer set there because I don't really use it so I never really have it here on my vanity table I literally just yeah like no just no um it came in a cute little box the box was broken when i received it so i can't say that it was you know mm, i'm not that bothered about packaging per se but one thing i will give it is the bottle is heavy it's very high quality even the lid is like super like heavy like you can tell they really really put their heart and soul into really trying to make it a clone and another thing that for me is i'm not really like a big fan of like a dead-on copy of something else like i don't like i don't mm, i'm not a fan and especially when you then go and then like try and copy the bottle as well like definitely like not a fan this is probably like my first semi-negative review like i'm also trying to find like positive things about it but unless you layer this with another fragrance you'll love it this is definitely okay this is definitely a masculine fragrance like i cannot see many women wearing this and pulling this off as a feminine scent like you can be as bossy as you want but really i i can't see it i can't see it and um i know a lot of like you know a few of my friends here on youtube like really like don't mind it they don't mind the scent but I've honestly tried every single way to make this fragrance like work and nothing, just absolutely nothing. So unfortunately I wouldn't recommend it, I really wouldn't recommend this fragrance. Um, however the longevity of it is amazing, like you, you, this goes on for like a good 8 hours and then the projection is pretty loud so people will definitely be able to smell you but if you don't like the smell on yourself then surely you wouldn't really want to share it with anyone else and that's the way i see it like if i love how i smell like i'm like yes i want to share it with the world but this do not want to share this with nobody like i don't want to make nobody feel uncomfortable like it's not sweet it's not you know it's not sentient there's nothing mm, to me it smells like medicine so this is just like a no for me um but i mean i would love like Latafa in general to carry on doing like high quality bottles like this but without this fragrance in it like and without necessarily like copying somebody else's design because honestly the quality of this bottle is beautiful like look it looks amazing on the vanity I'm not gonna lie look they've even got like a little gold plaque there at the bottom it looks beautiful but I don't like like a dead-on fake copy of something else because it makes me feel uncomfortable and that's probably part of the reason why i really didn't want to do this review but you know you've asked for it and here it is i hope i haven't disappointed anyone and obviously fragrances and scents are all like really a personal thing um and this one as i said literally flashes me back to horrible times so unfortunately i wouldn't recommend it but here is the review for badi alud 
um, Oud for Glory by La Tafa. Um, if you've got this perfume, then, you know, let me know your thoughts. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I always want to know. And um, if you hate it, then tell me why. And if you love it, also tell me why. And um, what is it that you do to make it smell better? And if you're like, like me, where you're trying to make it work, then what have you done to make it work for you? Because honestly, right now, I can't see it. I rarely ever wear it. And yeah, I guess it's kind of like my bad waste of money, but it is what it is. And thankfully it wasn't expensive, so I don't, I'm not going to like cry over it. But yeah, so that's generally my review on this. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another video from me. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.